Y queremos comenzar con una noticia que CNN acaba de confirmar el fallecimiento de la muy querida actriz comediante, un ícono de la comedia estadounidense Betty White a solo semanas de cumplir 100 años. Una noticia que ha confirmado su propio agente Jeff Whithas en un comunicado que entregó a la revista People hace algunos minutos. Betty White's cheerful Hollywood career began in her teens, and by her 20s, she was a fixture on television with her own daily talk show. Ahead of the times, White co-founded her own production company in 1952. She worked on a variety of television and film projects over the years before turning a 1973 guest appearance on The Mary Tyler Moore Show into a permanent role. White was a scene stealer as the man-hungry Sue Ann Nivens. I think a man should be virile and macho and just reeking with masculinity. <laughs> Her second signature role was on the beloved series The Golden Girls as the comical Rose Nyland. And they attack chickens. <laughs> I don't care about chickens, Rose. She didn't call me chicken. She called me peacock. You look more like a chicken when you're angry. Your neck's <laughs> excited. With the Golden Girls, I got to play with those silly ladies every week. So that, and I loved Rose Nyland. She was positive, and she was, she wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer, but she wasn't dumb. She was just terminally naive. Off screen, White married three times. She called her third husband, TV host Alan Ludden, the love of her life. They were together almost 20 years before Ludden died of stomach cancer in 1981. And you never remarried, huh? Nope. When you've had the best, who needs the rest? A devoted pet lover, White was a longtime advocate for animal welfare. She called television her hobby and animals her work. Yet her hobby kept her busy. White's talents as an actress and comedian were in demand well into her senior years. Following a grassroots Facebook campaign in 2010, White became the oldest person ever to host Saturday Night Live at the age of 88. You know what's an accomplishment? Staying awake on the toilet. <laughs> the show earned huge ratings and White her seventh Emmy Award. Later that year, White took on another role on TV Land's Hot in Cleveland. I thought that you weren't coming. Well, I ran out of vodka. And I thought I'd come over here and freshen up my drunk. In her 90s, White was as popular as ever with several ongoing film and television projects. How lucky can a 90-year-old broad be? I have no idea. And I'm still working. That's the thing that's such a thrill. Love for her warm smile, wit, and off-color humor, White didn't miss a beat when asked if there were any Hollywood projects she'd still like to do. I usually answer that question with Robert Redford. No, I think I've been lucky enough to do just about so much that I, if I start complaining about anything under the sun, throw me out of the business.